Hi there! So I went to the store today and I had to drop by the orchid section of course and I saw three orchids that I really liked but I only picked up two of course I had to control myself um, there's a San Francisco orchid show next month that I really want to go and I want to save my money for it but I had to get of course this guy so this is the dendrobium variota this is a cross between the dendrobium kingianum and a cross of the dendrobium i believe mini fairy so these are what the flowers look like they are really gorgeous and okay so that's how they are they're very dainty and they have this pink purple color to them and you can see that these are the bulbs right here or the kings um they look a lot like their dendrobium kingianum parents look at how cute those guys are hopefully it is focusing but they are very dainty and intensely fragrant it smells very much like soap like Irish spring soap and something else I'm I'm not exactly sure but to me it smells like that and some of these flowers of course were are not doing that great I think they were just kind of crammed in with the other flowers so um, I'm hoping that it'll kind of recover once I ah so see how the way that they're crammed in I uh, this one has been chopped off pretty much or broken off um, so they were they have been hit with some kind of um, pressure unfortunately that is sad it's very sad so that is my first pick and I'm super duper excited because I now have the Bariota and of course my Kingianum over here that I showed you guys earlier. Um, this one's pretty big too, but the other one's also pretty big. And this one I do believe has at least 22 spikes overall. Isn't that exciting? At least 22 spikes. Um, I kind of gave up <laughs> counting after 22 because I was getting a little bit confused when I was turning all the orchid the orchid around and just trying to count all the spikes but it I know it has at least 22 as of right now and of course the next orchid I picked up of course is the dendro I'm uh, not dendrobium the oncidium sherry baby I'm hoping that you guys can see this um seems like the light is sort of behind me so it's not able to show really well but this is the sherry baby so I actually have a cross of the sherry baby um, but not the sherry baby so um, the other one has a all over it has more of a reddish purple look to it and it is very fragrant it smells just like chocolate the other one but this one you can see has a white lip so when it first opens it's actually kind of yellowish so this one has just opened and these have already opened for a while they're all the way open and they have the white lip and they smell like chocolate so i've been wanting something like this for a while but i just didn't want to buy it in uh at shows because they go for quite expensive at shows. And I will show you guys the pseudobulb here. Compared to my hand, it is actually slightly larger than my hand, which is kind of ridiculous. And that is the biggest bulb. So it has a new growth right here. I don't think my next bulb will be as big or bigger than this. I think it will be smaller because now I've changed environments its environment and it is no longer in its um, awesome greenhouse that it came from so this one was actually attached to this piece of wire and you can see the flower spike has to bend downwards and then it was actually stuck at the bottom and it was growing sideways 
So, um, and I think the spike was actually cut off because it was so long, which is really unfortunate because I would have wanted to have the spike all the way down, but this is what happens when they are sold in stores. But um, I do believe the spike could probably be four feet, four feet tall. So these guys have been, you know, on drugs <laughs> at their um, greenhouse. So that is pretty much all I wanted to just do um, a small orchid haul for you guys. Um, thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.